Yes, there is a huge rumor Word. that 3000 <laughs> is making an album. I couldn't even wait. I'm like, fuck y'all. For real. Fuck with y'all yeah, introduction. Hella excited. With, I wanted to talk with Dr. Dre. Oh. I always what? had a I always had a dream of my favorite artist being on my favorite producers tracks that they haven't been. Mm. And this is one of my dreams. I would love to hear Andre Three Stacks on some Dr. Dre shit. So Three Stacks Real talk. reportedly well, is working with Dr. Dre. Here's what happened. There's this rapper, East Coast, this West Coast rapper named Thurs. For those of y'all who don't know, who are out of the loop, yeah. Three Stacks is Andre 3000, a.k.a. Andre Benjamin of Outkast. Yes. Word. A.k.a. Possum Aloysius, a.k.a. I, <laughs> I thought it was Dookie Possum Aloysius. Anyway, you know what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, so Possum this, the third? Th- this rapper named Thurs was on this um, radio show, and you know the asked him the question, he said, have you ever felt starstruck in a studio with another rapper? He was like, yeah, Andre 3000. But what they deduced from it was, wait, Andre 3000 is in the studio? Right. And then he basically said, yeah, I heard him lay some shit down with Dr. Dre that sound like an album. And he said to himself, I'm jumping to conclusions and saying he's dropping an album. So it's, no, it's nothing concrete. Right, it's right. nothing 100%. Enough but, for me. That's but you, you brought us up awesome. earlier about people like that. The people that are in the studio like that. What do you mean? I think you're gonna say something like they they would know things and stuff since they're all around the studio. Oh, so, so yeah, what it's I a was, percentage what I was that he may about, be right. It's not even that. It's just what I was actually saying in that statement was when you have someone who's an artist, a, a, a pure artist like Andre Three Thousand, mm-hmm. like the you know people who make they'll record a hundred album. I mean a hundred tracks for one album mm-hmm. per album. Like yes. these niggas got albums mm-hmm. that are B-sides, you know? <laughs> like yeah. albums of B-sides or albums of shit that just didn't make it. So essentially like if Andre Three Stacks is the artist, the rapper that we've always believed him to be, mm-hmm. then yeah, that's true. He's in the studio regardless. He's mm-hmm. going to be there and it can be an album or it can be an album. Guess what? Three Stacks got the bread to spend mm-hmm. to pay Dr. Dre as part of his hobby, <laughs> imagine to make a beat for him. If you think about it, yeah. you know mm-hmm. he probably has that type of extra capital on him mm-hmm. to say now rapping is now just something I love that I made money off of. Now I have other business ventures, but I'm never gonna stop rapping because I'm a rapper to the death of me. Because every time he drop on anybody feature, mm-hmm. he murk the whole track. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like um, sweep the flow of that shit. I remember he dropped the EP on Mother's Day yeah. called "Look Ma No Hands." Mm-hmm. It's on SoundCloud. So. You know, he's still working. Also, something cool. People have been catching him playing his flute in out ra- in public. In and random. Like, yeah. I saw one time, I was like, okay, that's he, just a wild coincidence. Inspired. There's like two or three or four more instances. I'm like, this nigga is... He's oh, right. So here's my theory. <laughs> this dude, first of all, the report, I think OK Player first reported it, right? I think so. And then now this rapper, Thurs, reports it. It could be part of a like an album rollout. Like, this is how we going... Get it out there this time know, because they people any, been waiting. Uh-huh. But once Andre you get does. the rumors out, because mm. everyone's been waiting for an Andre three thousand solo. Album. N- now you're getting them you know? ready. Yeah, like, so like, it's like, all right, I'm gonna them. use these different avenues of media. Mm. And three stacks is probably like, man, if if y'all for those of y'all who don't know, I've read you no know, articles in the past, but he likes to go driving and write songs. He he he'll like hold a tape recorder or now his phone and he'll hum his melodies. He'll mm. go back home and listen to him, get in the studio and oh, write shit, lyrics to it. Like, and driving is a therapy for him and a lot of other artists mm-hmm. as well, not just rappers. And so I would think that like part of him going out in public mm-hmm. and playing that flute is a purely, uh, it's an artistic thing. I'm going to go out and I'm mm-hmm. going to feel people's energies and I'm going to play the flute and mm-hmm. fuck it. If some people notice me, you know, I'm old enough to where not many people will notice me now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just the true fans of Outkast. Yeah, like, yeah. And I could see that as him doing it as part of a rollout on top of it, too, or it just being a double. I don't think he, Three Stacks, would have thought of that first because I think he's I think he so would. into the art. I think he would. Like, yeah. He, he's even smarter than we credit him for. No, I'm not like, saying that he wouldn't be smart. I'm saying, for, for my opinion, he, what he, Three he, Stacks is to me is someone who, and I could be completely wrong, mm-hmm. but what he is to me is someone who loves the music so much that it comes first before anything. Oh, okay, yeah, I can feel you. And then that, anything yeah. else comes after. And he'll be aware of it, uh-huh. but that's not his motive. I got you. And mm-hmm. your theory makes more sense also because... um. I think it was this week or last week. Uh, yes, Jules. She was in the news again. And anyway, Wait, um, she basically compared Earth Gang to Outcast. However, oh, I heard she about that said Earth Gang is like Outcast with two Andres. And I'm like, first of all, that's just a first of all, that's just a cookie cutter statement. First of all, 
Yeah, first of all, it's a quick cut. Second of all, don't disrespect Big Boy like yeah, that. People don't ever. constantly, and ever since she said that, there's this debate like, oh, is Big Boy good? How good is Outcast? Is Outcast only I three stacks? Da da da. I'm like, the only way. Some somebody on Twitter is like, anybody who doesn't respect Big Boy doesn't know where those hooks come from. Mm-hmm. Big exactly. Boy makes the majority so, of the hooks, and then yeah. in um <clears throat> in the early like in the early stages um. Oh, what, what was I gonna say? And I'm um, like Southern Playalistic. Big Boy was the better one. No, he wrote all the hooks. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just talking about rapping. When they first came out, he was oh. he was at the forefront. Yeah. You, you know how every group you have Wu Tang and they're at the forefront. You mm-hmm. have this group and they're at mm-hmm. the forefront. Big Boy was the face of yeah. Outkast. He well, was the better artist. It yeah. wasn't until later people started realizing that Andre. But it, well, nothing. Andre never never was a bad rapper. He was always rapping well. But when they first came out, Big Boy was the face. It was you just later. Was, I don't no, think absolutely. They, they was. made him the face. No, he just was. Yeah, I think he like just, I don't know if his they made attitude him, overpowers because he's that hustler. He's, exactly. But Andre was still on that stuff too. No, no, he was. But, but he, you know, he still, fell off. He, he, he was still like kind of thinking a little bit deeper, and mm-hmm. you know, was on some other things. But yo, Andre was yo, and that's the other thing, right? Andre was less. He really going back to being a pure artist. This nigga mm-hmm. would wear what was he in one of the videos? He had like no shirt and flip flops and shit. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, yeah, he, on. it was, was real, place? real, it was, real light. And, and play- that's three stacks. Like that's he's like nigga, I'm just here to rap. Nigga, mm-hmm. make players some ball, not players club. Players, players ball, ball, yeah, mm-hmm. my bad. So um, right? No, that was pre Erica Badu. Yeah, yeah. No, no. It was post Erica getting... Badu was AT Aliens. Yeah, and AT after. Aliens and that was pre. Yeah, that was no, actually like, diapers yeah. and beanies and like, them, like <laughs> yeah, in the in the big furry work, boots work. and shit. It was actually Diddy that told um three sacks to take his shirt off. Yeah, Diddy directed yeah, that video. That video you know? yeah. Exactly for Players Ball. Like on the documentary, it was like that was me who directed. Like, calm down, Diddy. Yeah, you get all the props you have. Relax. <laughs> I said, you a sex symbol, boy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 was gonna love Andre was you. probably like. <laughs> <laughs> but Sleepy Brown made a good point because on the Breakfast Club, they brought it up how Yes Jewel said that. And what's funny, um, Big Boy found out through his son. His son was like, yo, dad, this, this bitch on Twitter <laughs> just tweeted some wild shit and they dragging her ass. <laughs> like, you know, she, and she was That's like, Big Boy's son. <laughs> and Sleepy Brown made a good point. She said that, I think. And I still don't, I'm not justifying it. She said it because both the um, members in Earth Gang dressed like Andre. Mm-hmm. That's probably where the comparison was. If that's well, what she was comparing, then I understand. But because Big Boy never dressed that crazy. Actually, he, no, no. In, compar- no. in comparison. In comparison. No, no, no. I think we're comparing it because <laughs> Big Boy was still very bold and daring, but he was fashionable. Still, He still kept up. Urban look. A street look. So yeah. he know he big boy is clearly a person that said, This is what I like, and I'm not straying away from it. And yeah. he just made alterations to that look. Mm. But yeah, Big Boy had the, it, yeah. some of the wildest outfits. What you mean, man? And some of the best jewelry the rap game seen too. You're right. I'm like, talking about in comparison the hairstyle. To Andre, I know. Yeah. Well, in comparison to Andre, people are one tweet pissed me off. I'm sorry, I gotta mention this. The person <laughs> said that like Andre represents uh, black excellence while Big Boy represents the black oh. person that you're trying to get away from. Oh. And it was a nigga oh, with a yeah. blue check. I'm like, bro, first of all, you clearly don't listen to Outkast. Mm. You listen to Hey Y'all would, and the way you I move. Touch That's on, what you I would touch to. on that again, that Big Boy was the one who wrote, I think, absolutely every hook. I wouldn't be surprised. For Southern Playlist of Cadillac Music, the Outkast's first album, mm. for AT Aliens, mm. and... A lot of, and then Aquemini. I think Aquemini was when Andre started working a little bit more, and mm-hmm. he, right. but they were they were more bouncing back and forth mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. some yin and yang shit. Yeah. And then by the time Stankonia came around, that's when Andre Three Stacks mm-hmm. took the front seat, and that's why we have Bob. Mm-hmm. Thank you, God. But yeah, that's um, incredible. You know, stuff. and I, <laughs> but the problem with that is that Big Boy. That energy, first of all, his rapping is impeccable, and people don't give him enough props. Like Big Boy his will flow. drop so many references yes. in a verse yes. mm-hmm. that went over your head mm-hmm. that you have and you have no idea. And he's still teaching you how to hustle, mm-hmm. how to be a man, like right. a lot how of different things. Of a lot of songs and a lot of songs. And just style, eats. just like like just your energy, your swag, yep. or mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it. A lot he of songs that. he eats every rapper on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think of the whole world, Andre. Mm-hmm. Killer Mike, him, mm-hmm. and you know, oh, you but, notice he oh, anchors a lot. Where, yes, yeah, all those 
First yeah. of all, Andre's verse and Killer Mike's verse, they both slid. Yeah. yeah. And he and he murked both of them still. <laughs> See, so, I I don't I don't I agree, but not with the whole world. I think he um murked three stacks and Raycorn on skew on, on the Barbie. On Barbie. Mm-hmm. Now yeah. you have to understand the magnitude of that. Andre 3000, he is who he is. They've been in the game. He established himself. Then Raekwon from Wu Tang fucking Clan. Mm. You know they don't go on nobody the, tracks. The God of Street Slang. The God of Street Slang. <laughs> um, wh- um, witty, unpredictable live shit. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only nigga they collabed with mm. is Nas, Mob Deep, and Wu Tang mm. and affiliates. For them. To go and fuck with with Outkast, mm-hmm. and then the rumor started the whole Dungeon Family Wu Tang collab. Mm-hmm. People don't understand the magnitude of that. Right. For to get Raekwon on a fucking track with Outkast, mm-hmm. you do not understand. Outkast mm-hmm. went from at the Source Awards, y'all gonna know about the South, mm-hmm. to having Raekwon on the Man. two fucking tracks actually. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about the knowledge Raekwon dropped about? On Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting inspired. <laughs> but no, no, that's just another example just of, how, of how good mm-hmm. Big Boy can rap. He's just. I don't I like I, I can't understand it. No offense to you God, but it's not like he's you God or Wu Tang mm. or Praz or the Fuji's. Mm. Those niggas are significantly worse than their peers. <laughs> Wait, but they're the not bad. Said before Pros? I've had you got. Oh, you guys not. He's no, no. Listen to what I bad, say. Dog. You guys not whack. None of the Wu Tang members are whack. In comparison, when you compare Wu God and Master Killer to Method Man and Ghostface. But then when they're on their own, you get what I'm saying? But they're a different type of Among, rappers. Amongst their constituents. But they're different type of rappers because I think You God is mad clever. And I think no, that he Master is. Killer is very clever. Absolutely. He's good is. With I think they're just a different type of rap and that might not match the energy you're looking for. All right, if that's the case, I can because understand it. But I, I, I feel like you, straight up rapping bar for bar, Oh well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, because, but it's not like that with Andre and But Big Master Boy. Killer is clearly a poetic dude. And or more like a you know mm-hmm. he, he glides a little bit. You got you could tell you got like the party. No no like, yeah, you yeah. Could if you tell, watch a documentary, dog, if you listen you know, yeah. to it, no, but just like if you listen to his shit, he's always bu- he's bouncing, dog. Yeah. He's not trying to wrap his ass off. He's <laughs> bouncing to the beat and he's still dropping some shit sometimes. Yeah, the, the point. The point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nigga. <laughs> this is not Lee. become My the bad. defense. We, we all. I'm guys. sorry, yo. yo sometimes <laughs> you gotta pull us back because we will always go back and forth Wait, on this hip hop. So yeah. Discussion. yeah. So, no. The the, the, <laughs> the point. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Is, is it's that, big boys that nigga too. That's well, big boy, is, no, exactly. <laughs> People well, think yo, it's like this. It's well, like that. But well, even like the concept. Even well, even um, I'm, my bad to no, cut no, you off. Songs like the Mighty O. Yeah. When they when oh they man, both come well, in twenty-two like, bars each at that. That's Word. insane. Like and, and they all like it felt like more <laughs> for real. Yeah, they were really long. <laughs> and and like you you just see where like they both they both came at their verses so different. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But then they slayed it, dog. It's yeah. Like on some what? And that that's when that's when Andre drops his the most disrespectful verse. You yeah. Hater hey, can't I, tell. Would, either wish me well. Go, go to hell, hell or go, go to yell. Yeah. <laughs> behave. He basically <laughs> said he's bored with rap. Right. He said it. He Eat up it. whatever rapper, but I'm tangled in my cord, huh? Oh, Bored. Kind of like a knight with a sword without dragging the battle. Word. <laughs> Come on, man. He's fucking Not bored it. with you niggas, man. Word. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Right 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> you know that hip hop shit gave me a lot, but yeah, man, mm-hmm. the whole disrespect for Big Boy, like he's. There is no outcast without Big Boy, and there's no outcast without Arn. Like, first of all, you, it, they cannot exist they without really each contribute. other. Exactly. First all, and first of all, he's he's dropped some. Fantastic album. He just dropped a single you know called saying? Intentions. With he, he's released an album with Sleepy Brown. Word, word, oh, word. yeah. That's oh. gonna be fire. And like, people need to go back and like check out um, Big Boy's solo album. His solo album, Boomerverse, was dope. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Sir Lucius Left. I Foot. think yeah. that I liked Sir Lucius Left Foot so much because I was still looking for that outcast feeling, mm. and Sir Lucius Left Foot was the closest to that. Mm. It was also his first solo album after. Um, you know the last Outcast mm, album, dangerous. But yeah, Boomer, it kind of had that feel. Boomerverse was cool, like it had some joints on it. Yeah, that joint with ASAP, right? Mm-hmm. Joint with, with Snoop Dogg was dope. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, and but I don't know, maybe I was just on a different thing at that point too. Because you wanted the Outcast album. I wanted Outcast. I'm not gonna and, lie to you. But then, because I ain't gonna lie, I don't listen to Andre Three Stacks like feature work as much either. Mm. Oh, that, it's I I I love when they're together. <laughs> mm. Like I'll. I was actually the nigga that listened to Speaker Box more than the Love Below, mm-hmm. believe it or not. Like that was Speaker Box was my shit. 
Oh, Love no, Below? no, initially, absolutely. I didn't listen to the Love Below, and I was a lover boy. <laughs> and yeah. I didn't listen to the Love Below, like, for real, give it a chance to, you know, later on, I'm not going to And it's And it's, a, in a, in it's but, an incredible album. So, right. but, I mean, it's a reason 808 and Heartbreaks exist. Mm. But clearly, Outkast is obviously a huge influence on not just our lives, but on a lot of other people's lives that they spark up such a hell of a debate mm -hmm. right. on social media and in the world. And, um, but I think... Oh shit! <laughs> you know what I remember the most about Speaker Box? Um, the intro. Speaker and Box. Do, 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 Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. I used to. Yeah, we yeah. used to use that to test speakers every time. Oh, that's a great test. Every time. You know what that, I'm that, saying? That's it. That's Cause it. Cause it goes. That song they go through every level. All frequencies, kid. Yeah. Every time I get a new set of. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I got some mm. studio monitors, and when I, that was the last set of speakers I got, and I'm like, I gotta see how low these shit go. <laughs> <laughs> and I test that shit. I'm like, okay, word. speaker box test complete. Word, word. Outcast has done so much for us. Man. Yeah, <laughs> man, we appreciate them. And bro. I feel like that album, and that's why I, I appreciate people like them, people like Crit, people who mm -hmm. they make music for niggas who have who bump their shit in the trunk. Yeah, <laughs> like they they literally was like, look, uh, we we know our our constituency is down south, yeah, mm -hmm. and them niggas like to ride with twelves and fifteens in their truck. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's cater our music to that. Bro. Absolutely, yeah. a lot of artists don't do that. Yeah, yeah dog, and fun fact, mm -hmm. Quamina is like probably top two hip hop album for me, like regardless of group single or whatever. Nah, I, would... I remember listening to it when it came out. I was ten years old. Mm -hmm. Remember, my brother bought it. And when it finished, I actually felt empty. Mm -mm. I felt like, damn, this damn, shit is over. over. Where's right? the next album? Mm. No album in history has ever made me feel really? like that. Ne none. Mm. I finished the equipment. I was like, uh, I was, <laughs> like you know I, what I'm saying? I, just, I will say I felt incomplete after listening to some other albums, mm -hmm. but not as much as equipment. I because I think Chunky Fire is just that. It's one of the top outros it's, ever. It's, to me, it's the best outro I've heard that I could remember, like on an album. Besides, like next to Kanye's college dropout outro, that was a good outro. Like, yeah. but this, yo, Chances Chunky Fire outro on Acid Rap was wicked. That was pretty good. Okay, yeah, damn. <laughs> damn. I, there's a, I'll have a top five, no particular order, but mm. definitely Chances outro yeah. on Acid Rap, Acid Rain is amazing. Mm. Um, Dang, that that's a that's a that's an interesting top five to have. Oh, I Yo, have a top next week. five album outros. So. I have it next week. <laughs> All right. Next year, next week. That's I would homework. definitely put most deaths made December in that for black on both sides. Mm, Man, forgot about Ooh, that. What yeah. rapper drops an instrumental, mm. complete instrumental, not even a hip hop style instrumental at the end of some hard hitting boom bap shit? Mm. Most deaf. And <laughs> what, what the fuck am I listening to? And now I'm going to sleep. <laughs> it shit sounds basic. Word. So, um, oh, but you know I, I what? I was a wicked intro, outro. What? Word. Um, the killers, Sam's Town. That's some. That's oh some, God! Oh, <laughs> yeah. I thought you I talked like, about the, yo, I haven't heard the killers in a long time. Is that that? Somebody told me that you had a boyfriend who looks like a girlfriend. That yeah. I had in February of last year. Yeah, I missed yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> I missed that one. You don't remember that shit? That shit was rocking. I think that was like in the space, space mask, space age. Some, some. It some was space, very ominous. Yeah, some sounding. space album, but it was very I used to listen sounding. to them a lot, like. High school, freshman year, FIU. That's what it is. Having an ominous sound at the end of your album creates a good outro because it's a finality. True. There's no way to look at it. Finality on this topic. <laughs> <laughs>